Coming up next, we get to this UFC middleweight division fight. Strikers in this division, sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, so, most people so, believe, yeah, his opponent is in a so, world of JK. trouble. All right, so here he is, the former UFC middleweight champion, Anderson Silva. The pro record doesn't look like it did a few years ago, DC, but most people still inject the name Anderson Silva into the discussion of the greatest MMA fighters of all time. It's because Anderson is doing us a favor every time he steps foot in the octagon. He could have walked away and protected the record, but the lure, the draw of fighting, still is pulling at the spider. And every time he walks in there, we're getting the witness greatness. You feel it when Anderson Silva walks up the steps. I remember staring across the octagon and going, holy cow, that's Anderson Silva. And he has that approach. He has that appeal to everyone that gets in front of him, not only in the octagon, but in life. One of the nicest guys you've ever met is Anderson Silva. And a renewed focus on recovery and physical therapy has allowed the great Anderson Silva to compete deep into his 40s, DC. You ain't going to 45. I'm not There's going no way. To 45. Ain't You're no out. chance. You're going to voice a video game. I'm going to voice a video game. <laughs> what a great idea. Our tale of the tape for this much anticipated middleweight encounter. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters with similar height and some differences in reach. We set it inside Ladies the and gentlemen, Here's this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, 7 losses, and 1 no contest. He stands 6 feet 3 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Fort Worth, Texas, Kevin the Trailblazer Holland. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 34 wins, 11 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Curitiba, Brazil, Anderson, the Spider Silva! All right, Grinthin rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back to your corners, come out fighting.
sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Silva gets caught with that punch. He loaded up there on that high kick. Nice defense there. Huge block. Oh, look at that jab. Snaps his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hand right back to his face. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, that's a big hook to the chin. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. And he comes through with a big knee. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Anthony. Over the top, this fight's gonna be over. What a great play of this. Misses with the jet. Oh, big punch land. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to count after blocking shots. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Certainly making good use of what is an obvious edge in reach. See, you don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such tough to even be on the Ah, oh, that jab hurt him. Outstanding back and forth first round. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Beautiful body kick. Kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Big off the punch lands. Now he gets back to range. That one appeared to stun him. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad. Oh. He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Back to the feet. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He's done. He's done. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 29 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by Nathan Anderson!